So today I'm going to show you how to make a comp track. Now normally in a pop song if you're going to make a comp track, which is a composite track, which means you're taking a bunch of different takes and turning them into one track, what you would do is you would have it um, your vocal, let's say, on this track like 10 separate times and you would um, just pick and choose on this one track which one you wanted to uh, which one you wanted to use. So you could have like pick this little bit or this little bit or that little bit and turn it into one track because you're going to be fairly certain that uh, in a pop song it's all going to line up so if you sang something right here it's probably going to be really close to right there I mean a few milliseconds off but with a classical piece you can never tell um, it, you're not going to be recording it to a click track so you never know when it's going to start or if you're going to take a little time uh, between takes a little longer before you start the take whatever so the thing that I find the easiest is to have you know if you look at this it's a session that I've done and it's easier just to have this one followed by this one followed by this one because I know the sections and it allows me to add automation here if I need to and also to put the fade ins and I'm not having to crossfade if you crossfade it can become a little more complicated so you're you're basically building in your own crossfades, but you have a little bit uh, a little easier time. So I'm going to zoom into this one, and the way to zoom is to select the file that you want to zoom in on, click to where the uh, marker is showing right there where the playhead is, and then if I hold Control and then the arrow keys, it'll zoom in right there. And you see they're overlapping a little bit already. But if we listen to this, you're going to hear it doesn't sound quite right. The whole point is this thing fades and this thing should uh, fade into it. There shouldn't be a re-attack like you hear the re-attack there. So I need to fade this guy in and fade this guy out. And I kind of have them dovetailed a little bit. And so, you know, this could take you a little while to do. Um, but I just have a little patience. So what I'm going to do, there's already a fade in. If you click on this one, it says bottom eight, nine run. And it lets me know this is the uh, information that that file has. So the bottom eight, nine run is right there. My fade in at the front is uh, 177. If we look over here, if I zoom out again. You can see that there's a fade in. If... Um, I come here, you can see the little white lines of fade in. If I come here, click there, you can see that there's no fade in over here or fade out over here. So I need to add the fade out. It's at zero. I'm going to fade it out um, relatively quickly, like right at the end. So I'm fade it out at like uh, 20 milliseconds. So it's a real quick fade in. And I'm going to fade this guy in over time. So it should overlap and it should give you to where this guy and this guy kind of blend together. It is a crossfade, but it's a special kind of crossfade because it would be a little tricky to get this thing to fade over 300 milliseconds and this one to fade out over 20. So I have to click on this guy and page 9 run good is right there. It lets me know I've picked it. So the fade out, fade in, I'm going to pick something like, I don't know, 300 milliseconds. If you look here, um, we can see the bar length. So let's see. Um, I'm going to hit return. So they're fading over each other. So let's see. Pretty good. So the real trick is just to be patient and put it on two separate tracks and your fa use your fade in fade outs and if you need to use automation you can see there is some automation here I actually have this one it's actually pulling down just a little bit because it's so loud at the beginning that I just want to make sure it fades in so that's a way of actually fading in you see a continuous sound that you might think you couldn't do a fade on but you actually can